black guy. What's up, nigga? Yeah. You black, right? He went like this. Yeah, you, nigga, you? Oh, you're not black? What are you? What are you? You're Indian. He was a nigga. Try getting a cab in America. You'll see how black your ass is. Yes, I'm Indian. Fucking little nigga. Good to be here, man. It's just two Cocoa Pops and a bowl of fucking rice bubbles and shit. <laughs> uh, you're a doctor? I'm fucking with you. I don't fucking know. It's good to be here in Australia, man. As you can tell, I'm American. I'm not fucking proud of that shit. I'm embarrassed to be American, and I want to apologize on behalf of Americans what we've done to the world. Is anybody here American? <laughs> you said no. You fucking did a survey. No, nigga, no. It's embarrassing. We got dumb shit happening in America. We got people storming the Capitol with fucking Jamiroquai as their leader and shit. You, know, you got a president who falls up the stairs. What the fuck is that about? This nigga is embarrassing as shit. You ever see him talk? It's like he's having an orgasm, but he's confused. Up, up. like bitch. Either come or run the world, but you can't do both, motherfucker. Chill. That's why I'm happy to be here, man. I don't like saying I'm American, but you can tell my accent. I try to hide that shit, but I can't. I can't, but I like being here. Melbourne's cool too, man. I live here in Melbourne. Melbourne, Melbourne, you guys have two suburbs, right? And the name of the suburbs sounds like words that African Americans say all the time. It's very heartwarming. When I hear these suburbs, I think of home. The first suburb is called Where I Be. <laughs> That's what we say we lost. And where we be, shit. You got another one called Car Nikki. <laughs> Get the fuck out the car, nigga. Oh, shit. And kiss my daddy on you, Ivanhoe. I said, kiss it. Suck my Geelong dick. Anyway. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Anderson Scopoari's first ever self-defense tutorial. <laughs> Prepare to learn about strength. Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, come on. Oh, it's don't give up! You're really good! Don't give up! You're really good! Willpower! Use your willpower. Be like Anderson, you know? Oh, I look so good, man. You're doing really good. Don't need it. Don't need it. <laughs> Much lads is like a game of chess. Checkmate. Damn, Learn to defend yourself against. Gun attacks. Hey, this is my territory, man. What's hey, good, Holmes? What do you take What's one of these? Good? Hey, that's what I thought, oh, man. You don't want to shoot me in the face. Cutting attacks. Oh, you want to try and give me a pepper cut? Come on, buddy. Oh, fuck. You cut me, see? Huh? Oh, Pussy. Spit into it. Pussy. Spit into it. Carons. Just remember, the power is in the hair. Oh, I need to speak to the manager! Bank taxes. Uh, I'm just thinking about setting up a bank account in the Cayman Islands. What do you think about that? Much lads is like a mind game. Your move. And if you still need to be convinced to join today, come and listen to these testimonials. Thanks to the power of Anderson, I finally became the martial artist I always knew I could be. Am I still getting paid for this? Make sure that you sign up today. It's good. In this game, we're going to need a relationship. Any relationship? Dating. First date. Alright. Right. Last day. Oh, I like that one. Okay, okay. Do we know it's our last date, or does something happen on the day? Redfern, Redfern train station. That's very specific. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're uh, we're together, yeah. and we're on a last date at Redfern station. At Redfern station. <laughs> Max, can you explain the game really quickly? Neil and Dan are going to play out a scene where one of them is going to start off as the alpha, the other the beta, and if I say switch, they swap roles. What do you mean you're scared to get on the train? Oh, I just I'm, I'm, You know I'm anxious about public transport. Well, we've been dating for four years and you still won't get on a fucking train. What's wrong with you? <laughs> well, I was going to, but then the pandemic and everything. Well, I know, but I didn't take you all the way out here in this beautiful location so we could stand on the platform. 
<laughs> that sounds nice. Isn't well, we're taking a scenic trip to Walleye Creek. <laughs> supposed to be, but you won't get off the fucking platform onto the train. I'm trying. You know, you used to be cool. Switch. Oh, I used to be cool. Well, you're still pretty cool. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, train or no train. It doesn't, doesn't sound good. like you think I'm still cool. <laughs> I mean, you've been pestering me for a year to go on your stupid public transport date, because, oh, we could be bohemian and, and cool. <laughs> and it's like, what's the point? We bought in Red. We bought in the gentrified side of Redford, so we don't have to catch the train. And here you are trying to make me get on the train. You know what it is. I know what it is. You want to fuck on the train, you sick bastard. That's what you want to do. Switch. And if that's really what you want, I'll probably do it. But just you know, just ease me into it. Come on. I don't want to fuck on the train. I want to fuck on top of the train. Yeah. On top of the train, so everyone can see as we pull into a fucking platform, it's just you and me, baby, going at it. That way, everyone at Willow Creek knows that you're mine. So, when we pull in, you'll pull out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're both men, so it doesn't matter, but still. <laughs> Look. Do you want to go on the lovely trip to Wallow Creek or not? Well, I'll go on this train sex journey with you. <laughs> you go on one of my dates for once. It's been four years. You've never gone on one of my dates. Yeah, and what are your dates like? Oh, let's go to the movies. Let's do normal people things. Switch. And that's fine too. I love the movies. Let's go see... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm not talking about the Shrek that everyone's seen. I'm talking about that R18 Shrek. Oh, you think fucking on a train is wild? I'll tell you why I can't get on the train. The officers know my face. And if I get on the train, I go to jail. You know what I did on the train when I was a teenager? What? Switch! Oh, well, you know, I just was really anxious. And just, and what did I, you do on the train as a teenager? Better well, not have been fucking. Well, no. That's reserved for on top of the train. I was very nervous to get off the platform and I was sort of, I really wanted to get off yeah. and I just kept pushing someone and then they fell in the gap. Oh, really? Yeah. If you keep carrying on like that, I might just fall into your gap. <laughs> on top of the train. <laughs> it's kind of hard, but, but still. Fine. I'll get on the platform with you and... Good. Okay. At the platform, we're getting ready to go. Get your ass off the blue seats. I know they're comfortable, but this baby leaves in 30 seconds. Can I ask you something? What? What now? Why? Why are you so obsessed with showing everyone specifically at Walleye Creek? Things you would hear in Melbourne and nowhere else in Australia. Yeah, I just fucking love the project. <laughs> I think there's just too many vegan options. Do you know? <laughs> uh, tonight's weather, possible chance of rain, hell, snow. I don't know, back to you, bitch. <laughs> Babe, I think we need more black clothes in our wardrobe. Yeah, fuck the Premier. What do you mean, you're straight? <laughs> what do you mean, you're monogamous? <laughs> what do you mean, you he him? This is an impression of, an, of a Melbourneian watching the state of origin when somebody gets tackled, right? Oh, holding the ball, because we're at uh, Victor. Okay. <laughs> Who lives at Wallow Creek? Well, no one, no one that you need to be concerned about, all right? Switch. I. Oh. I made my, my old boss, the one that rejected me. Show me your phone. Oh, I'll get on the train. I'll fuck you on the train, you sick fuck. Just show me a fight. <laughs> I knew it. 
Your boss has a fetish for people fucking on the train. You're doing this for him, not for me. Well, I need to get the promotion. Oh. I need to get the promotion. Oh. You say I don't earn enough money. Yeah, you don't, don't have to get fucking, trains You're a pathetic train fucker. That's why you're doing. <laughs> oh, I'm a true pathetic train fucker, am I? Yeah. yeah. What well, says you? Doesn't want to fuck on top of the train. Wants to go inside the train. <laughs> what a fucking load of rubbish. Well, I can see why everything your dad said about you was right. Oh. <laughs> now are we gonna get on the train or are we gonna piss fart around on the fucking platform? I'm not getting on the train with you. Switch. That's fine. I'm I'm quite happy on this blue seat right here. If you're still on that blue seat when those train doors close, don't text me again. <laughs> Like me. Yo, I'm the only comic who's come to Australia that's gotten deported. It's a true shit. I got deported, right? So I, have, I came here on a tourist visa. Now on a tourist visa, you are not allowed to tell jokes. As a comedian, you need a work visa. So I was coming through the tourist visa, and they stopped me at the gate. It says here, Mr. Visa Mate, that you're a comedian on a tourist visa. But right now, we're having a comedy festival. So are you here to perform? I'm like, no, sir. I'm only here to watch. And then they stamped my passport. I walked in Australia. And guess what? I did a whole bunch of shows from everywhere. I was like, fuck them. I'm doing this shit. <laughs> then I'm like, you know what? I want to stay here a little longer. Everybody's so chill here, right? I'm like, oh, you know what? To stay longer, you can't apply online. You have to go see them face to face at the immigration office. So I went to the Lonsdale Street immigration office. And uh, they assigned me a case officer. It's a true story. That case officer happened to be at one of my shows. <laughs> You ever get like racist on yourself to escape some trouble? He was like, hey man, aren't you? I'm like, come on, man, we all look alike. <laughs> sure, I'm him. Don't text me again. <laughs> come on, I have nowhere else to go. You can't do this. What, over a little stupid fucking on top of a train? <laughs> really? The train to Walleye Creek arrives in one minute. You've got one minute. <laughs> uh, Make your mind up. Uh, me or your boss. <sighs> Promise you won't get mad at me. <laughs> Switch. Um, I'll, I'll try. I know you don't like it when I get mad, so I'll... Yeah. yeah. I can't do it. I can't get on the train. Shut up. I'm on the fucking phone. <laughs> hey, Jenny. Dead. <laughs> I'll, uh, yeah, I'll take that promotion. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Oh!